Hello everyone, Duke here with part 30 of this Byzantines campaign, Medieval Total War 2. And uh, for such a milestone, episode 30, I think it's right that we <laughs> timed it just uh, perfectly to have a very climatic start to the episode. Uh, we have a pretty um, decisive battle to do here. Uh, the army of Mongols under Captain Bakungis is attacking our garrison under Pelikanos Agritis. Uh, a night fighter, an alcoholic, so oh, he could have been a great commander. If, if like three command gone, he could have been an eight-star general if it wasn't for the fact that he loves a tipple. Um, he's got a useful and admirable wife and fair, who knows, that could come in handy. Poor taxes. Um, well, uh, I don't know if that will be enough. Uh, we have some reinforcements, but I don't think they're going to come in straight away because of the size of our garrison, and I think we can only have 20 units max. So I suppose, actually, if I allowed the army to be controlled by the AI, I don't know what's better here. Uh, I'm going to try... Uh, this is a tough one, isn't it? Uh, do we let them be controlled by the AI? Uh, which may give them a chance to come riding in. I think they will. I think it makes sense. Otherwise, we may not get a chance to use them if we're capped at 20 units. It makes sense. We should be, even if it's under the control of the AI and therefore not optimally used, it makes sense. Men, bring our people honor, glory, and most of all... <laughs> most of all, we'll never know. Um, yeah, it, it makes sense to do that. Otherwise, you know, we'd have those reinforcements there that might not get used. So, here we go. Let's Units, review the situation. Uh, we actually have a family member commanding the defense, uh, which is unusual. We don't have any other cavalry, really, except for the Byzantine cavalry, I suppose. Uh, which I will keep on the city center. Where are they coming from? They're coming from the front. Right, so we have learned that Byzantine archers are kind of like the bee's knees at keeping the enemy at bay uh, against the Mongols. So let's try and preempt where they will deploy the units. Let's see, I think they'll put... They're going to send some this way. It's them. They're going to send some this way. With their ladders there, so let's put someone here. Got one more unit, and let's deploy that. I'll put it against the ladders because you never know. Our ballistic towers may take out that siege tower, we might have to deal with it. Then we have some trippers and archers. These are okay infantry as well, so I'm happy to have these on the walls for a bit. Um, I suppose it makes sense for everybody at first to do flaming out. Only maybe not you guys, uh, to just to try and get some extra kills on their siege equipment. Then I'll put the Byzantine Spears at the gate here. Maybe instead of banding them together, I'll sort of layer them. So put some there, maybe some there. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, that's most people. And then we will have the Spear, infantry, uh, spear Militias on the city centre, because these guys just break too quickly to be of any use up front. But they'll be better used on the city centre itself. Right, so that's the plan. We've got quite a lot of towers being able to fire, uh, thanks to our deployment. Which is excellent. That gives us a lot of help. Uh, we have our best infantry ready to receive their best infantry when they reach the walls. Kind of counting on this getting destroyed. Bit of a bold strategy, but we have to be bold. They outnumber us in terms of quality infantry. So we have to play the game accordingly. Oh, have these guys have moved about here a bit. Yeah, we still got that tower. Good. So, as long as we got that. All right. Uh, Byzantine spearmen here. What are they doing now? I thought I put them there. Uh, that's sort of, these guys like that sort of kept put uh, sort of a. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Um. Are sculptures any good? I have no idea. I don't... What do they do? I don't really... Yeah, I don't care. I'm not going to use it. Right, let's do this. Straight in with the... Uh... Right, here come the reinforcements. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Who knows? It might even come out of the city centre. I'll take that. But look at that. Straight in with the ballista towers. Exactly what we want. And we're targeting these towers. If you get the ram as well, that'd be good. That will slow them down. Look at that. All this fire hitting this tower. If we could take that tower out, like I say, that would be a real boon for our hopes, I think. That unit's getting 
shot quite a lot. And uh, I put our Byzantine Guard Archers on guard mode as well as the uh and Archers. I turn on skirmish mode just in case that makes them... I don't think it does. I think being on walls kind of negates that. Yes! Look at that. That's down. Look at that. 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 That's good. Right. Now there's nothing we can do about the ladders. Uh, we knew that. We know that already. So... Um, we've planned accordingly. I didn't expect to take this one out, uh, so the these guys have will have to fight. Oh, I forgot the, the catapult. Um, Give them steel. Dang. That's annoying. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I should have put that in the city centre. Who knows? We might have time to get it on there, so let's try moving it up. Doubt it, but... Right, we didn't get the ram, unfortunately. That's quite unusual. Usually you can count on taking that out. The enemy siege tower has reached our walls. Let courage and skill at arms lead our way. Alright, these guys I think Saints, won't win. Save us. Yeah, they're shaking. The enemy are battering down the gates. Yes, I noticed that. Yes, I can see that off. Right, here comes the cavalry. Look at that. AI's are sweeping them in. Good stuff. They could actually attack the ram. That would be perfection. Oh, they're going for the infantry here. A viable tactic. Sort of shooting the tower for some reason. Okay, I think they are shooting them from the rear now. That's good. <laughs> Someone just got squeezed. Right. I think the ram's going to get through. Favor. That's all right. We what do you do? Um, here we go. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Not much we could do. It's just one of them things. We, the RNG was not on our side today when shooting the ram. We took out a tower, so I'll take that. And the cavalry can't do anything about our infantry on the walls. These guys are not doing well. The Mongol infantry. Ours are doing okay. That's good to see. They don't have a dreaded Khan or anything God in charge of their army. Us. So maybe the our guys might fight a little longer than normal. Look I fully defense, expect these guys to break. Will be lost. I'm not counting on a miracle here. Um, but if we can actually get a few decent kills here before they run. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, excellent stuff. These guys have a bit of armor. So, yeah, we should be able to do a little bit of damage against the cav. That's good. Where are the uh, reinforcements going? No, I can't see. We can't actually go over there. So, it's all a mystery to us right now. Now, my firing into that blob, I think it's safe too. I don't think we're going to be at risk of friendly fire there. How are we doing here? I think that unit's really in trouble. I don't think they're going to win that. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll hold that off. That's fine. If these guys could have just run in there, who knows? I could have... Imagine if, if we were able to command that and we hit into them in the rear there. Do they... Who knows? A hypothetical. But we might have destroyed that whole army there. Maybe not, but... Right, they sent the Mongol archers uh, up onto the walls as well. How did the unit over here do? Not well. Good. Maybe I'll move this unit now over this way. Only half the enemy yeah, force this is good. remains. We're actually holding up the walls here. Like I say, I still expect these guys to break at some point, but they've clearly taken a lot with them. They've held them in there in a killing zone while our archers rain hell and fire on them. This unit should be defeated, I think. I'm hoping we're not getting too much friendly fire from the Vidario Tai. I hope these guys move and do something useful. Where's our catapult gun? I was actually going to make it to the city centre. That's good. I suppose I could have actually kept it down there. <laughs> we might have actually been able to get a few devastating shots in there. But hindsight is twenty twenty. I counted on our spears not holding that long. Because that's tend to, that tends to be the way. But today they actually have held. The one day we actually kind of didn't count on them holding. They did hold. Go for it. Yeah, look at this. We're just firing them from all sides here. I'm actually going to turn off fire arrows. I don't know why I've still got that active. That's no use to us anymore. Slower rate of fire and less accurate, so. Alright. Lance is about to pull out to deal with the Havadeo Otai, which don't seem to be skirmishing, annoyingly. They might win. They're good cavalry for Otai, but it's just, you know, 
Mongol cavalry is Mongol cavalry. I'm not going to take these guys off the walls. I'm going to keep them up here. Well, I'll give them this. Their morale is exceptional. Looks like we're losing that skirmish now against... I think maybe it's just sheer numbers? Mongol infantry, yeah, they're... It might be okay. This flank. Yeah. Oh, I think it looks like they dispatched those lancers. Great. Right, they've smashed through the spears here at last. Got one last line here. That might be able to do a little bit of fighting. Uh, we're firing from all sides here. Yeah. How much? 74% of them killed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we've won this. Surely. Because they don't even have many archers left to fire on us from afar, should they get through to the square. They're firing on us. Right. Oh. Become the AI reinforcements. I decided to walk the rest of the cavalry in. Don't know why. These guys are fresh, but they should be able to get around the back of the army. And our legionaries might just mop up the rest of this army. Oh. These guys getting shot at point blank range. Those Mongol foot archers are going down. How's this infantry doing? Pretty well, they've made sh Oh no, that was there's I was looking at. They've got seven men left in that Mongol infantry unit. They haven't fled yet. Now they're broken. That's how many you gotta kill <laughs> before they flee in this game. But that's it, I think if you win this battle, the army is definitely destroyed. We're at 87% now, which will be enough. Reinforcements are arriving a little too late to be of any fun to get any glory for themselves. Let's deploy them back up here. One thing's for sure though, we've got a lot of retraining to do after this battle. As acceptable as our casualties have been, we need to keep our garrisons high in case they go to Jerusalem again. If we keep having victories like this, we're going to bleed the Mongols dry, which is exactly what we want to do. You <laughs> hear all those orders. Move out, move out, move out, march. Move out, move out, move out, march. Huh. Maybe the AI will run these guys down? They're completely stuck. They have no idea what to do, the Mongols. Da, 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 da. Oh, the imagery's wasted just running over here for some reason. Oh, the AI's not used our reinforcements all that well. They've gotten a lot of them killed. But... The enemy general lies dead. Got him. Great. Good riddance to that desert dog. But it might have Pray been. His death will break it's his still probably the right decision. Right, well, who's left then? I think it's just this unit here. This two man unit. It's fighting for the last.
The Mongol infantry fought to the last man. This is the Kings and Generals podcast, and we will catch you in the next one. Right, come on. I think we're shooting more of our own men here. The yes. Enemy and this is a clear look at that. victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Wow. What a decisive hold that was. That is fantastic. Right, they're sending an arm, another army south. Now oh, they're using that one to besiege Aqua. I think we managed to retrain all our Byzantine guard archers. So it's not... Fut you know, we're not without hope there. What shall we do? Yeah, I think everything they have, military-wise, is all around Antioch. Oh, yeah, there's the one of besieging Adana. Um, but, yeah, I think they st they're still strong. No doubt about that. I'm not saying we've got an easy job of it. Oh, we're taking Venice! But the Mongols are substantially weaker. Right, there's only one thing to do here. I learned my lesson last time. We need to do something about that red face there. We're going to do what we should have done. 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm going to exterminate them. And that's it. We have linked up Italy to the mainland of our empire. Merchant skill. Venice. Absolutely. <laughs> the merchant saw that bloodshed. I thought, yeah, that's a good place to invest. All right, looks like we've had a couple of natural disasters in our empire. Oh, no. Oh, can't do anything like that. There we go. Right, I think... Oh! Good. That didn't affect us. We were safe in the building. I, I was worried it would have affected this um, army. But it didn't. Earthquake, though, in Alexandria. Ah, that's fine. Um... Yeah, we can take that. Um, what do we want here? I don't think they need blister towers. I don't think they're going to get that far, the Mongols. Let's get... Hmm. I get Dockings. Right, settlement besieged. Accra. Uh Yes, we got the bong, bong, uh, visited guard archers, which was decisive in the last battle, so, you know, could come in handy again. And look, we're seeing militias now. That's good. This is their best army, I think. Lots of gold chevrons in that army. That's not too bad. That's not bad. I reckon if we can defeat this army somehow, along with this one... Then I reckon you we don't need to be no like right. afraid Once you of the Mongols are my anymore. Prisoner, right. I might send that unit to retrain, but I don't even. At the same time, I don't know if we can spare the recruitment slot. I think I'd rather because I think if they're going to use that army to attack Jerusalem, yes. I put these in there, by the way. Your Majesty. Um, Orders. Uh, do that. Like that. Yes. Um. Your Majesty. Yes. Uh, yeah. There we go. My Lord. Right. Uh, Most them together. Right. Uh, but I, I think yeah. What was I saying? Uh, I might get rid of this catapult. I don't think it's all that useful. We need that slot. Uh, yes. I think we'll. I think another three Byzantine guard archers is the ticket here. Uh, if we. I merge those two together. Your Majesty. And then, yeah, having five of those to help you keep that away. No right. That's. Once you are my I'll move prisoner. here to retrain eventually. <gasps> We've got two here already. I didn't notice that. Great. I must have done that in previous episodes. That's good. Because, yeah, if I can get another three in there, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, and a half. That'd be really helpful in defense. And I might even trade out the trebles and archers because I think having a bunch of spears on the city centre is still a good idea. Um, let's retrain some units. That's it. That's all I can retrain here. 
Is it worth building anything? Probably not. Nah, they're going to get attacked soon, aren't they? Kodari Otai here. Probably should keep them back in case they get baited into an attack. They bait the garrison into an attack. So... Yes! Put that there. Orders. March! Good. Then, as I say, I'm going to replace these Orders. units with visiting guard archers. Yeah. We're going to turn this into a Orders. real fortress. Yes. Binding forces and I pulled these guys back to Gaza Onward. for now. Uh, for the simple reason that they can ride out and meet there if we need them. You know, no problem. So. Right. Fight me. Resistance is futile. Venice. What is it? And already the rebels there. are back. Uh, repair that. Oh dear. We're not replacing any visiting guard infantry anytime soon. I'll get some militia recruited anyway. Um, put another spy in there. Where to, sire? Wow, these guys are great. Sire. Okay, well. They're wasted there. Let's send one up this way. Where to, sire? And these, this guy, up there. Today's journey is over. The problem. What it is the problem. name? Am I taking down a person? We, we're the richest. Ah, well, that's the family who, member. Ah, I yes, think? I know who that was. I, he was a grey-haired fellow there. Um, in the middle, he's gone now. Yeah, still go, figure out how we're going to get into the walls of Algiers. Look at this, we're top dog. We've overtaken the Mongols. And by that, I mean, you know, militarily. So. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Your orders? Combining the fleets. Fortunately, we have no port. <laughs> um... I think I might want to move this army on as quickly as possible. You know? It's kind of wasted here. If I move that out, put a unit in there. Your Majesty. Oh. Who do I face? Men, we march. There we go. My lord. Yeah. Let me strike, my lord. We exterminated it, so it's not going to be any real problem for a while. I'm going to build council chambers. No, no, I should do the port first. Um, name, name I should lightly take out we will meet you there. that army there. Because it's holding up trade and interrupting. How how amazing is that? As soon as we took Venice, a, a massive rebel army turns there. up. Well, massive. Hidden. Decent sized one. It's just... You couldn't... My lord. Should we spend it's just... Time for words timing was awful. We have rotten luck with the rebels in this campaign. All right, Carthage, looking a bit wobbly. Let's get some peasants in there. Yes. Whoa, we massive uh, papal navy there. There's no the Pope there. Words. I might. Draw your sword. Yes. Yeah, let's go get him. Your Majesty. Um. Yes, Lord. This is where we shall meet them. As my lord wills, we march to battle. Yeah, why not? <laughs> bring our people honor, glory. Might as well. He's on our turf. And it cycles through their cardinals and stuff a bit quicker. You need a wife, my daughter. You need. Ugh. They always get the good terrain. Right, let's get up there. Get the high ground off them. There we go. Not technically minded, this Pope, is he? He fell victim to a classic blunder. <laughs> he gave up the high ground. 
Ah, but we seem to be struggling to skirmish. I will give him that. Ah. Yeah, the skirmishing isn't the best feature of this game. Let's pull back a bit. All right, just look at that unit there. <laughs> yeah, another reason to take these guys out is, of course, they can hire mercenaries if they wanted. So. I'm not going to charge these guys yet. They're pretty strong. General's bodyguard. If we keep doing this as well, they'll just knacker themselves the out. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Half their men. Oh, yeah, they're running out of hit points now. Going down a bit quicker. Go, go. Go meet your god. Die. I like their banner. That's quite cool. Right. Let's run in and get him. Make sure he doesn't leave the battlefield alive. The enemy flees the battle! Gotcha! This is a clear victory that Hope goes Felipus. to only men of great virtue and valor. Sounds either Italian or Spanish. The day is ours, Lord. The enemy are beaten. Beaten. Orders. I get some catapults there. Yes, my. On the off chance we get a chance to sail yes, some over. Here. Your orders. I may recruit some fire ships in a German. Yes, my. I sail. Ooh, Hello. Yes. So got these. So that to meet this navy. That navy sails down to meet with these. We might be able to sail those items. Oh, she is. It's still going to take a while, but, you know, has a chance of speeding things up a little bit. Yes. Ah, look at that. It is a yeah. battle, no? How annoying. Hey, they give that French time, army a general. Command me. France is coming for you. Good. Let me strike, my lord. Your Majesty. Orders. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Orders. Orders. Yeah. Uh. I've got a few annoying battles. I've got to fight this annoying Name thy enemy, French Lord. army. I've got to fight that annoying rebel army. I've got to fight these annoying Moorish armies. I think it's exciting. It's all f annoying little upstart armies. Scattered across my empire. Do I face? Name the field of battle. We will let me strike, my lord. My lord, should we spare any of them? No matter how they beg, let no Right. Let's go again. Oh, I should have waited. No. Oh. Too late for that now. Well, at least I don't have any high ground. I think a horse archer approach would still be good. As they don't have much archers of their own. There's their crossbows, just ready to do the do the nasty to our 
horse on. Just let's move them this. Actually, no. This this way. This is higher ground. Let's go that way. Let's see if we can get our uh, siege equipment to fire on there. I suppose. Ah, boy. They can see us. Let's close in. I thought I'd seen the last of these sort of elite pay vice units, but when we just took out the last of the Italian factions, but because these are Italian rebels, they get them. Oh, it's two of them. I thought they had uh, one unit. Right, well, I'll charge one of them then. Oops, that was my Scythican. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. Let's pull back. Yeah, they're sending their male knights now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm allergic to terrible moves. And that was a terrible move. Alright, infantry's been bought up, so they're not... Yeah. Wouldn't have been in their interest to chase us down. crossbows so each volley does a devastating amount of damage and we can't resupply these armies very quickly so I might have to just get the infantry brought in super quick it's the, it's, if they always have always have a crossbow unit the AI armies no matter where you fight the AI they will have a crossbow unit just lying around somewhere and this rebel army just happened to spawn with more crossbows yeah, yeah it's so annoying they always know where to find a crossbowman. Right, I'm afraid we're going to take quite a few casualties here, but my foolishness at fighting in a rain environment means we're going to be taking more losses than needed because we our range hasn't been great and it's reduced our accuracy a lot it is unwise to pray oh, no, nice for sunset but hey, hey. our men I'll are that. winning the battle and forging a worthy oh, well. victory keep sending the skiffycon into fight why do i keep doing that i keep thinking all my units have a dowie eye type but they're not all right send the general to go help there and here The enemy general flees Good. like the coward he is. The enemy. And there we this go. is a Woo. clear. Got away with that. I think we should have taken more casualties than we did there. Oh. Right, now that you're freed up, let's send you on. Let's send you west to burn. Taking a castle on this flank. Uh, will be helpful. What's easier? Burns near us, so we'll go for burn. On our victims. I know what these guys fight. Let's get some. Uh, works aren't great. You desire battle, no? Mm. I do. But. Easy. Okay. Go in there. Then. Attack the army. Everyone except one. March! <laughs> Charles Dulac, Charles of the Lake. Your Majesty, we march hmm. on our victims. Basileus, this might be his last battle. The Horseman, commanding a mostly infantry army. Right. We have artillery, but so they got better artillery so we won't really need to so I'm gonna keep I think it's mostly gonna be a horse archer job 
Where are they? Ah, there they are. On the hill. They always have a hill. Where's it? Whenever we defend, we get, just get flat ground. They always get lovely big old hills to defend on trees. Oh well. It'll make no difference. They will fall today. All the same. These guys have just come back from the trebuchet factory. They went through the gift shop. Right, go charge them. Go charge them. Let's take out the crossbows nice and quick. Okay, now they're being silly and charging their general in. That's good. Charging the trebuchets in. Look at that. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But it's a bold strategy, our men Carl. are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Well, these crossbows are fighting for a long time, though. Ha! <laughs> yeah, they're fighting a long time. Must be the general being nearby. Yeah, there we the go. The enemy are badly blooded. Crumbled now. They have lost half their men. Yeah. I'm going to get these units back now. Ah, no, not listening to my orders. The thing is, if Briennis dies, it's really not a problem. He's old anyway. He can die. run down these units. Alright, you guys halt. Because I think you're about to receive a pretty nasty head cavalry charge. No, you're not. Well, since Briannis is going to die any day, let's have him settle his last battle with a drawn sword. Yeah, these trebuchets are breaking up their charges. It's great. It must be a pretty inspiring presence, because a lot of their units have not fled uh, very quickly at all. Charles Dulac, that's his name. Kind of like Lancelot Dulac, I wonder if it's a Lancelot-inspired name, title. We are hey, Brienne does it again. What do you expect from a man called the Horseman? Right. Good. That's that unit taken care of. Now we just need to mop up this uh, general's bodyguard. Praise the uh, that's it. This is a I think all that was left was the general's bodyguard, but they'll die anyway because the general's dead. So. Right. And stay we out. Apart, my lord. Victory. <sighs> thy enemy, lord. Another boring little battle. All right, let's get some ships here. Right, what was the other boring battle? We had these moors to fight. But I think if we do this, this will be the last we see of them around here. So Let let's just get it done. Orders. We shall send them to hell or right. worse. Let's send Mars. some horse archers by them. My lord. Let's just get cat pots. Right. Bit overkill. But... And then we'll send the rest of the cavalry up north, take out the other Moorish army. And then that'll be all these... Oh, I've done it again! Are you kidding me? Why do I keep jumping into the battle? I keep, I keep instinctively kicking start. I think I'm in such a hurry to get these... Naff little battles done. At the same time, it means they can't fire flaming arrows. And um, their range is reduced as much as ours is. But it didn't matter. 
Only half the enemy force remains. So what are we going to do without a casualty? The battle is in our favor. The Lord above is kind. We have captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest the enemy. Yes. All of <laughs> Didn't even lose a dude. Merciless Mauler and feels honoured. That's my guy. Right. Let me strike my uh, let's send the others. Your yes, Go do with these guys. For More the same with a spear unit. All of our people's hopes are with you, men. All of our people's hopes are with you, yeah. If we fail to defeat this army, who knows what horrors they will unleash on the Empire. Right, this is a nice looking battlefield for once. Nice weather. Let's close in super quickly. And then we'll surround them. We don't want to spend too long shooting because their catapults will be pretty nasty at this range. But once we surround them, we can just run on in. He says. There we are. Urban Militia, Heavy Infantry. Yeah, they do look pretty heavy. The enemy general, the enemy flees yeah, got, like, the Norman battle. Looking Run down those worthless helmets. peasants. Um, I'm going to win the battle, though. This is a I think they victim. were doomed to die, and we're taking no casualties again somehow. So, yeah, there we go. The day is ours, Lord. Who do I face? Don't have to do any retraining. Go us. Right, that's that secured. Right, I don't think there's any more boring battles. We've done the Pope one, we've done the Rebel one, we've done the French one, and we've done the two more ones. There we go. Let me strike, my lord. Unfortunately, you can't dismount infantry in this battle, in this game. My lord, should we spare any of them? When shall we attack the wars, then, my lord? <sighs> it's going to be a while, isn't it? Sire. Well, in the meantime. Without a trace. That's Marrakesh. Okay. Yeah, a bit of a slog at the moment because all our armies are far away from actual targets. Who do I face? Apart from Top of Barrels, my guy. Name right, the one, two, three, four, five, six. We can get six infantry units in there. Oh, can we merge? Yes. That. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. That, that's fine. I'll take the 19 one with me. Might get a chance Lord, to retrain it. And let's. Merging armies. Be gone. Hmm. You are not mine, Kaiser. Let me strike, my lord. It's a shame to keep him here. I do need someone to keep an eye on this front because there's a lot of enemies nearby. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to get some more units in here. Ahead of no, these guys attacking. Enemy. It is me. Uh, oh, the dames are just. Victory without honor is hollow. Yes? Let me pull their finger out. Help! We've had to single-handedly fire off all these Mongols. But look at this. Yeah, this is all that has, is left of their like main military force. And that still seems like a lot, but trust me, it's a massive improvement. I will speak your horrid tongue if I must. Some more cavalry in there. It's like these guys are about to attack. Come closer. Right. Right, I think we have a chance to take out Innsbruck, but first. Set won't hurt me, don't cop. Don't cop. What am I doing? Well, the thing is, do we do the city first and then turn on the army? Or do we do the... the spies have opened the gate, so we can't just run in with our infantry and cut them down. And we've got plenty of mercs to do the fight for us. And then we can leave the mercs in there. Okay, let's do let's do this one. Send them to hell or worse! Attempt to not attack because they're cool. Attain us the honest. Yep. So we've opened the gates, so I'm gonna let all the 
I'm going to let our mercs do the fighting. They're not cut out for it. They're mostly crossbows and spears. But that's fine. They, you know, if it's a really ugly vic win for them, it's still a win. So you guys get ready to go. Meanwhile, everyone else just stand here and look pretty. Right. Go. By our most gracious saints, our spy has opened the gates. The gates. <laughs> All right. All right. Go get that dismantled feudal knight unit for me. Go get him. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. Panicking. The oh, enemy's panicking. walls belong to us now. Yeah, just chase them to the city centre. Nice. Caught them. Now, yeah, they, they might take a lot of casualties doing this, but I don't care. It's just mercenaries. Really not a problem for me. If we do win this little skirmish here with just mercenaries, it'll be by sheer numbers. Favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. They're not going down easy, are they? Oop. They're really going for it. Don't make me send my good stuff. Now you've done it. At least we can retrain our good stuff here. So that's what it takes. I should have sent my cavalry in to run them down, shouldn't I? That's on me. I've been too impatient this episode. I think there's just been so many battles to do. I wanted to crack on and do them. Soften them up a bit. Let's deploy them here. <laughs> Not going to work, I'm afraid. We own that gatehouse now. Okay, let's get the cavalry in. Bit disappointed the Mercs couldn't do it, but these are pretty tough units. No, Ballista Towers are on the inside as well. That's nasty. Well, our cavalry's about to get shot to pieces, so we better get running. Oh, well, if they shoot my cavalry to pieces, they can shoot it to pieces. What can you do? That's war. All right, they're holding us at the gate. That's an interesting move. Let's do a little Mongol move. Just overwhelm them at the gates. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men, are the enemy general, go. the lord above his time. We have captured the enemy's general. Only half the enemy force remains. All right, if we can knock them off the city centre, make them flee. That'd be a quicker way of doing it. My lord. Our men are there we go. This is a good. And um, it's cute. We tore them up. Let's. Lord, what we're gonna do? Victory! They stood no chance. 
I have silenced them. I think the will exterminate. It's a very large population. Yeah, it's only going to take two turns to get things back, so... Oh, annoyingly, though, we destroyed a few of the buildings. Ah, I didn't know that happened. I thought I'd just killed populations. Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, we're gonna, it's going to take eight turns to replenish it until we can start replenishing things. All right, well, we better get started then. Well, that army's knackered for a while. At least the cavalry can retrain at some, at some point. Why am I being so stupid today? Why did I exterminate a castle? You should never, ever exterminate castles, and yet I just went and did it thinking it was a good idea. Okay, we're in there. Where to, sire? Sire. Name thy enemy, Lord. Dun, dun, dun. Where to, sire? Yes, Lord. Purely doing that to get some skills. Right. Kaiser has ordered your demise. How long until we can start retraining? The cavalry, a little while. Yes, your majesty. Mind you, if we can recruit, retrain the cavalry, I think we'll be fine to move on. Come and face the might of the Reich, coward! Whew, that's a lot of armies. Let me strike, my right, I think we better just send the cavalry out to deal with the uh, Your army here. My lord, should we spare any of them? <sighs> so many crossbows, why? They absolutely love their crossbows, don't they? They just can't get enough of them. What is their obsession with them? Waste no time sparing enemies this day, man. Right. Anyways. Oh, we got the high ground for once. That's nice. A really high ground at that. I brought my generals along just so our men don't break so quickly. Actually, I don't really want this high ground. It's a bit too high. I can't really, uh, can't really deploy. Right, let's go. Oh, wouldn't you know it? They get high ground as well. Well, we better go that way then. It's going to be hard to flank them with this terrain. Yeah. I think the one thing we could definitely say we've been extremely unlucky on the uh, terrain today. We've had some absolutely naff battlefields. We are fighting in the Alps, I suppose. Just look at how many uh, crossbows they have, it's ridiculous. Light, let's close in. Oh, the good news is they uh, have abandoned their really good position. Unfortunately, they ran too quickly for us to catch up. We could try chasing down some of their artillery. There we go. Off the goes the trebuchet. Then if we sort of deploy along here like that. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Someone run down that trebuchet so it doesn't survive the battle. Good stuff. Right, 
Right, everyone else. Keep hounding these guys. Ooh. Right. Let's go charge that unit while it's on its own. It's Spear Militia, but it's too small and isolated to be of any real challenge. He says. Huh. But that backfired. <laughs> they held us very well. What do you know? The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Let's charge that catapult, get rid of it. There we are. All back. Where are these guys going? Never mind. I'll tell you what we can do. Let's take advantage of the fact that these guys are losing uh, at the bottom of the uh, hill. And charge on in. I reckon that will really break them. Smash. There we are. Meanwhile, we're attacking the Frankish Knights over there. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Victory will be ours. Yeah! What are we doing? Ah! Cavalry rallied and attacked my general. How oh, dare they? Good move, though. Didn't see it coming. All right, let's pull everyone back. Ah, the Frankish knights are just stubbornly hanging on to us. Leave my general alone. He's off limits. All right, finish them off, guys. There we go. Right, this this army is really annoying me. It just keeps running around. The battle it's, is in our I can't favor. catch it and if we remain destroy true it. and wholehearted, victory will be ours. We've completely swapped sides in this battle. I think we should give our men a rest. Nah. Rests are for wimps. <laughs> in we go. Oops. We were in the momentum of that charge. We made them walk it. Right. I think that's encouraged more or less a mass route. We got them on the downhill while they were running, so. The enemy general has not praised the Continue. Right. Both generals captured Theodo Theodoricus and Henry. Right, is that all of them? No, it's only 76% killed when he's run down more of them. Our men are stuck. This terrain is too uneven. So let's get some more of our... Yeah, our cavalry isn't... It's stuck. It's not moving. Let's get them out of that little pit. Get them chasing. 91%. I'll take that. By the Lord above! That's a pretty good... Our yeah. foe has been good much stats. humbled! Let all who remember this... That's two family members killed as well, so... Sorry. Oh. Be gone. Ah, so 91% is not the magic number. You need to get higher than 91%. That's interesting to know. I didn't know that. I thought it was 85. You learn something new every day. Who do I face? Come and face right. the might of the Reich, coward. I think I'll push on and take out this army as well. I'll do that in the next episode. I just I want to take out words with the Be gone. You are not as many of these guys as possible. Keep Innsbruck secure. 40 regions now. Holding steady. Moving to Bern. I'd like to take Marseille. 41, 42. 43. 44, maybe. We don't want to lose Adana. We don't want to lose Accra All either. All that is left for us is to fight. That is a struggle, if you like. I will take your land and women regardless.
gosh, there's so much more to do. <laughs> it's weird. We've been hovering around like the 37 to 40 region territory for ages. But being able to advance has been so yeah, elusive. It's been elusive. Um, Who do I face? And I want to keep it within historical borders. If I was rushing it, I'd probably march on Prague right now. But I want to stay semi-Byzantine territory. Roman territory. I don't mind keeping Top of Bowers here for a little while anyway. Um, it's... Yes, Martin. Bringing these lands under your gaze. Approaching, um, my lord. Yeah, we need someone to... Men, we march. If they attack keep Vienna sword, and Budapest they safe. Will be right, anyway, I think I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, but that's episode 30 complete. Jerusalem has held decisively and we're going to reinforce it soon in case they come again uh we've got a few Byzantine guard archers here which i had hoped to shoot into the inside of adana time for this you battle have no right. but uh, they came on just a little too Once quickly you are my we have them ready to fight reinforce when needed um antioch it's elusive. I'd love to take, retake Antioch. Got a good family member in there. Wouldn't be easy to dislodge them. But if we could defeat that army, retake Antioch. Imagine how reversed our fortunes will be. I got the Russians coming. We knew that was coming. Noble Lord. We See if it gets these part. You out, but do not. You must think as Miko. Okay, all right. Who Kill him. Oh, unlucky. I'm <laughs> taking down a person <laughs> or a place. I'm taking down a person or a place. Right. Taking Marseille would be good. Maybe recruiting some men here. To reinforce this army to march it west. It's the only thing is that Briennius is gonna die soon. Command me. And yes, march. Um, I don't like leaving armies that family member in charge, because they're prone to rebellion, as we've seen before. When uh this army was it? Dog is cheap. No. Come face me. This army Name turned rebel. Of we will meet you there. So, it is said you do not attack me. What the fear? There are many differences. Our people should. I really need to upgrade to fear at some point. I keep forgetting. Your orders. All right, what was I going to do with you? You guys. Orders? I'm sure I sent two of them. Your orders, noble one. Your will. Anyway. This is not possible, my lord. This is not possible. Your orders, noble one. Well, yes. let me send them north. Your orders, noble one. Your orders. Actually, that's, how old are you? 43. Uh, I, I guess I could... I was thinking of someone to, sending someone to Trevisand. That's a pretty... Orders? Middle of nowhere command. Your will. Doesn't really require my best guy. A good day's march ends. Yes, lord. So off he Building goes. a watchtower. We can march no further today. Hey! Yes, man. Engage me or be gone. Are <laughs> you trying to give me an order? So do I am. Right. Oh, that's I not carrying an army. <laughs> I was worried an imperial army might have marched on Constantinople just then. Right, well, yep, I better leave it there then, guys. Uh, join me next time when I continue mopping up the armies around Bern. Uh, we're going to try and get some... Well, I guess we could even just get infantry over. But siege equipment will be fine uh, to take out Algiers. And then, yeah, we've just got to keep closing on our victory conditions and uh, hold the Mongols off for as long as possible in the meantime. So, do me a guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.